Good afternoon. This is a special coverage of the coronavirus crisis using the combined forces of News 5 and Signal TV's One News, Radio Cinco, and One PH. Senator Sonny Angara confirms that he has also tested positive for COVID-19. Angara says he has been, he had not been feeling or he had been feeling some symptoms like mild fever, cough, headaches, and general weakness. However, he says that he had not been in contact with the public since taking the test last March 16. The senator is asking for prayers and asks the public to support all efforts to fight the further spread of the coronavirus. International retail chain SNR confirms that Senator Coco Pimentel, who tested positive for COVID-19, shopped in its BGC branch on March 16 when he was still supposed to be under self-quarantine. As a result, SNR says its employees who were in contact with the senator were placed under quarantine too. It also assured its members that they are taking measures against the virus, such as disinfecting stores daily and making sure their staff are clear prior to work. And this just crossed our wire. Senator Kao Pimentel responds to the SNR incident, saying his test was done at 11 a.m. on March 20. His result was made known to him at 9 p.m. on March 24, which was eight days after he went to SNR. A lawyer has expressed interest in filing a complaint against Senator Coco Pimentel for his alleged breach of quarantine and hospital protocols. Attorney Rico Quicho has slammed what he calls the Justice Department's indifference after Justice Secretary Minado Guevara said they will only act on the matter if a formal complaint will be filed against the senator. Quicho said it was clear that Pimentel violated laws, particularly the revised penal code and some special laws. He added that excitement should not be an excuse for exposing more people, including medical practitioners, to the virus. Quicho also branded the DOJ position a double standard and a whitewash. He's now asking for help to contact potential witnesses, such as doctors and nurses who were at Makati Med when Pimentel made the visit. He's also urging the Philippine Medical Association to file a separate complaint and ask the hospital to release a copy of its CCTV footage on Tuesday night. Quicho is a former dean of the University of Makati School of Law. He was also part of the defense team of impeached Chief Justice Renato Corona and was spokesperson of former Vice President Jojo Binay. Posible po magtayo ng quarantine facility sa Campo Crame at iba pang kampo ng PNP, lalo't dalawa na po sa anay ng pulisya ang nagpositibo sa COVID-19. Inihikayat din ng mga pulis na huwag munang umuwi sa kanika nila mga bahay ngayong sila ang nakabantay at exposed sa mga checkpoints. Para po sa ibang detalye, nasa linyo ng telepono si Patricia Mangune. Pat, anong latest yan? Bok nag-inspection si Police Lieutenant General Guillermo Eliazar sa ilang quarantine control point sa Bacoor, Cavite. Siniguro niyang nakasuot ng minimum personal protective equipment ang mga pulis na nakadeploy gaya ng face mask at gloves. Anya, bumili na rin ang PNP ng isang libong mga face shield na dadagdagan pa para maipamahagi sa kanila. Target din daw na mamigay ng dagdag na PPE kasama na dito ang hairnet o shower cap para protektado rin pati ang buhok at mga tenga. Payo pa ni Eliazar, mag-improvise na din muna ng scarf, panyo o kaya ay tuwalya, basta't matakpan naman ang leeg at mga batok ng mga pulis. Mahalaga raw kasi naligtas sa mga pulis mula sa invisible na kalaban kaysa magtapang-tapangan. Sa ngayon, sa huling tala ng PNP, nasa 709 na ang mga persons under monitoring sa hanay ng mga pulis habang uh, 61 ang persons under investigation. At dalawa naman ang nagpositibo. Handa naman daw ang PNP na maglaan ng uh, kanilang uh, quarantine facility sa Camp Krame at iba pang kampo para sa mga pulis na hinihikayat na lang nila na huwag munang umuwi sa kanilang pamilya. May mga nakareserba pa rin naman daw na puwersa ang, mga, ang PNP para pang sa mga pulis na nakadeploy. Samantala, tinesting din mismo ni Eliazar ang deca o decontamination chamber na itinayo ng Bacoor LGU para sa mga quarantine control points para mas preya ng disinfectant ang mga pulis bago at pagkatapos ng kanilang duty. Nagikot din si Eliazar sa ilang fast food, drugstore at banko sa Bacoor para lang din masigurong inoobserbahan nila ang social distancing. Bok? Bok, well, it's good to know na dalawa pa lang yung uh, nagpo-positibo doon sa PNP. Uh, although, at the same time, uh, um, I suppose 
karamihan ng mga pulis na nasa front lines eh, hindi naman na test So, we don't really know kung ilan yung uh, merong ano, nahawaan. Oo, Bok. Hindi pa naman na uh, nagsasabi ang PNP sa ngayon kung sino pa yung mga nagpositibo. Dalawa pa lang talaga ang pinaka-confirmed. Basta't minomonitor nila ang kanilang mga PUM at mga PUI, Bok. And again, to review, uh, so they have uh, 61 uh, persons PUI. under investigation. At yes. uh, 709 yung persons under monitoring. Uh, medyo uh -huh. marami-rami rin. Pero in total kasi, mga PNP is mga 140 or 160,000. Oo, tama. Mga, mga, sa ngayon, yung huling estimate nga dahil may mga bagong recruit na rin ay nasa less than 200,000 yung buong puwersa uh, nationwide ng PNP. Uh, Bok. Okay, maraming salamat Patricia Mangune. We will continue the discussion over at One News, One PH, and Radio Cinco. For now, that's the latest on the coronavirus disease. For News 5, I'm Ed Lingao. We are One News.